Hey there, njroot22.com here with another cheap wine reviews vlog. Um, little technical note here, the last uh, few cameras we've been using here, well, the last camera I was using for the last five videos was a Sony A5100. You can see the link in, my, in the description below. It was a nice compact point and shoot. It was modern 2017, 2016 version. It auto-focused quick. Everything about it was great. 100 megabit like video transmission. This is all geek talk, by the way. I had to return it. I'm part of this beta program. This, this, uh, there's a, a website out there called Xpees. E-X-P-E-S-E dot -E -E com. And you pay like 30 bucks a month and you get to test one piece of technology for three weeks a month. And you have this whole list. You can test drones, you can test hair dryers, uh, kids' toys, cameras, computers, laptops, etc., etc. And you pay 30 bucks a month, and they'll send you something for nothing. Well, for 30, part of the $30 fee. And you test it for three months, you decide if you want to buy it. If you don't like it, you send it back, you get a new item the next month. Um, that's why I had the Sony A5100. It's a good camera. You get it for about 400 bucks. Here's the thing though, let's say you like the camera, you could keep it, and they, they charged me, uh, if you wanted to keep it, you could pay it off over time. It's like having a credit card, but not needing one. Um, 40 bucks a month for 12 months, I would keep the camera. It's, it's actually a pretty cool program. You pay as you go. If I can find an affiliate link where you could sign up for the, this XP's, it's really kind of cool. It's in beta right now, but they're accepting new customers, and it, I, I have a feeling this is gonna be the new trend. Where you don't, you could try stuff out without committing. I mean, I have to admit, you know, on, go on Amazon, buy it, use it for 28 days, and return it. Say it's broken, and they'll give you your money back. They don't care. So there's a way to take advantage of Amazon, by the way. So what I'm, what I'm using here is my old 10-year-old digital SLR, and um, it doesn't have. I, I can't autofocus. Like for instance, today. I'm uh, reviewing a Dark Horse Double Down Red Blend. It's a 15%, $7.99 a bottle wine. This is in the, pretty much the mid-range for our cheap wines. $10 per $7.50 being the high, uh, $5 or less being the low. Well, we're going to talk about that at some point in the future. I think there is a too cheap wine, like I said before about the, um, the Crane Lake. That is deadly. And I talked to my buddies at one of the local liquor stores around here, and we talked about some of the really, really uh, hobo low-end wine, and they, and they were like 12.5% alcohol. Ooh, I'm really a little nervous about that. I'm gonna do it once for the viewers, the like a handful of viewers I have for this channel. One time, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna make sure I, I don't drink like five days beforehand, or maybe one, or whatever. Anyway, let's see if this focuses. This is the Dark Horse Double Down. Does it focus a little bit? I, I can't tell. I'll, I'll see in post. But this is this is a cheap wine. And let me let me preface this real quick. I've had bad experiences with Dark Horse in the past, and I'm not saying that's going to affect this review at all. And look, this damn thing is crooked. I'm gonna straighten it out here. Let's straighten it out. There, yeah, that's a little bit straighter now. A little bit straighter. A little bit straighter. Good. I'll move it back too so you can see a little bit more of the... I'm just such an... I'm not a professional YouTuber, but I'm an honest one. That's that's important. Um, so let's see how it focuses again. It doesn't focus too good. We'll see. This is Dark Horse. I choose this one because of the high alcohol percentage. I typically have better experience um, with, with the higher alcohol in terms of how I feel the next day. Remember, this wine vlog is not about the taste, the notes, the blend, the grapes, the whatever. That is BS, and I'm not gonna curse on this on this channel, just in case you're wondering. Why should I? I mean, like, we all curse enough during the day. Like, why, why? I mean, maybe perhaps if my curses have like comedic timing, I might add a fruity little zinger here and there, but. Anyway, did you see, did I do my, uh, my signature drink? Ah, man, it's so refreshing. That's, I really enjoy a nice cold watered down red wine. Six ounces, this is a 30 ounce cup from Starbucks. 
30 ounces, six ounces of wine, maybe seven or eight, depending. Sometimes I'm feeling a little saucy and I'll uh, add a couple extra and you get a, whoa, like a, it really does affect the buzz. And like, you know, five to eight ice cubes, you know, standard 1970s ice cube tray, no, nothing from a bag. And the rest water, filtered, uh, filtered water, no fluoride. And that's how I drink the wine. It's just, it's the best way. It's not ghetto, it's not, it's not white trash, it's none of that. It's how I preserve my life. Anyway, I, the other day I did a, um, a video about the 19 crimes and I, and the wine is good. It's nine bucks a bottle, passed the two bottle test, but I went on their website and the marketing was in another league. It was, it was all about something that had nothing to do with the product or the wine. It was just some sort, sort of fruity, just like reality show fake kind of, I don't, it bothered me that I couldn't find out about the wine. But I realized, and as I've told you guys, that this little write-up on the back of the wine is to get you mentally tricked into thinking something before you even drink it. I never read those freaking things. Never. Never read this. Never read this. Never read this. Just buy it. Here's what you look at. You know, find the varietal that you like. Is it Cab or a Merlot or Pinot Noir, whatever. Pay attention to the alcohol percentage, and they're different. Sometimes they put them in these weird spots, like over here. That's 15%. And Dark Horse makes a 13 and a half, and all. I bought this for some friends of mine, and and it always turned out kind of bad. Like everybody got angry. It was like an angry wine. This was a few years ago. And I've kind of stayed away from it, but I, I picked some up for the for the local uh, local uh, nut uh, nut house here, and I think it still has an angry uh, feeling. So, if anybody's a little bit, don't don't buy this one. I'm okay. I'm stable almost always, unless I drink like hard alcohol, like vodka or whiskey. I don't trust myself drinking. That's why I don't drink it anymore. Anyway, this for me, I'm on bottle number one. I finished one whole bottle. And there's an unopened bottle here, proof, evidence, never hasn't been tapped. There's no trickery going on here. I'm gonna crack that open. But I I don't know if this is gonna pass the two bottle test. I mean, I had a weird night last night. I'll, I'll explain it some other day. But I, I looked on the darkhorsewine.com, darkhorsewine.com, and I looked up their wine, and all they talk about is, is the emotional triggers. Okay, bold, luxurious, dark fruit, hints of caramel. And you know, everybody likes to hear like the, the sugar, sugar sweets. And, and there's a uh, harvest grapes. Uh, we're gonna harvest them at the optimum ripeness. Isn't that the objective always? I mean, would, would you ever want a what, frickin' sour grape? I mean, there's a f reason there's a, f that's a phrase. Hey, you got sour grapes. What, you know, or how about harvesting when they're past their uh, optimum ripeness? Well, these are rotten crud. I mean, like, it's so stupid. This is Beth's meth method of getting the best grapes, picking them then when they're ripe. I, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm a loss of words for the lack of creativity. I mean, if, if that, like, thrills anybody, hey man, they, they, this one is good because they pick them when they're at their <laughs> optimum ripeness. I'm like, you dumb, Bonehead, that's when you're supposed to pick all grapes, always, you, ah. Anyway, and then they use all sorts of other trigger words. What you'll taste, luxurious tannins with rich color. I know, how can you taste rich color? It says luxurious tannins with rich color. I can't taste color. I can only taste taste. Anyway, I'm really just a little bit irritated with the how, how um, marketing has, has completely circumvented just common sense quality, price, how do I feel, etc. So that's basically it. So I'm on bottle number one. I'm gonna take a, a break here and, and I'm gonna tell you that their marketing and and, uh, and website is, is lacking of any real honest information. It's just BS marketing. Um, by the way, they, this, they say for this particular grape, this uh, double down, Red Blend on their website says 14.5%, but when you look on our bottle, it's actually 15%. So maybe this is either an old year, and again, this is another one of those wines without a vintage. There's no year. So you can't really 
figure it out. So just like the Rex Goliath, I mentioned again, that I talked about a few videos ago, I said, don't worry about the packaging or any of the marketing. Look at the percentage. Like if this, this went up to 15%, if I feel good tomorrow, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up regardless of how I, much I dislike their marketing it, and it doesn't do anything for me. It probably does something for 99% of everybody else, but I'm not, I'm the 1%. Out of, don't take that out of context. Um, if this works, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it on the list. $7.99 a bottle is, is a good middle ground. I mean, it's $16 plus tax for, for a, a, a 1,500 milliliter, and it makes me cringe when I used to get uh, the Rex Goliath for 10.09 at 13.5%, and it was a perfect wine. I mean, $5 a day, or it's eight, seven, seven bucks a day, times th uh, you know, 365 is over $2,000, close to uh, $3,000 a year. Wait a minute. Yeah, seven times 400 is 2,800, between two and $3,000 a year. I would save if I drank two bottles a day, every day of the year, but I don't drink every day of the year, just most of them. Um, anyway, so so their website's useless. Like, like nobody's, I mean, it's just all about marketing. That's wine. Wine will always be all about marketing and tricking your brain into, into liking something and every there's all this fancy crap going on. I mean, if I could find a $3 bottle of wine that makes me feel fine every night and it has so-so taste, I will buy because I'd rather use the money for something else. I will not invest money. Even if I had a million dollars a month salary or $10 million a month salary, I still wouldn't buy a $500 bottle of wine. I don't, why? I mean, like... Common sense should be, just because you have more money doesn't mean you should spend everything you got, right? I mean, I like to win. I mean, sure, maybe maybe if I had a million dollars a month, I might go up into the $20 category. Perhaps the, the two bottle rule is more adequately passed in that and, and it's struggle to find a cheap wine that doesn't make me feel like I need to call the garbage dump and take myself to the trash. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'll come back in a little bit to talk about maybe how I feel halfway through and I'll try again to do my morning after, how do I feel? But again, I've been really bad and a little bit like, I haven't followed my own rules where I, if I ever review a wine, I should probably do it when I'm, I have a clear day, at least before me, so I can reset and, and truly like level the playing field. But I think I'm old enough and experienced enough to be able to figure it out, even with an unlevel playing field. I, I, I think I know. So we'll come back in a little bit and see how we're doing with this. This is one bottle in and one. Okay, we're back with, uh, well, this is the last glass of the, whatever that was. I don't even remember the name of it anymore. Uh, some sort of uh, double, double, double blend. <laughs> ah, I love that. That's just the most satisfying feeling to, to take a ah, after a nice cold slug of uh, cold wine. That's uh, refreshing. Anyway, I'm not like slothing or sl slobbering. I'm, I'm, hey. My uh, my mindset is going going off. I maybe I'm getting tired. I don't know what time it is yet. I can't even see. One or two. This uh, this this wine we're drinking right now is, is perfectly fine. On the expensive end, 17 bucks or higher uh, for two two bottles. Again, I'm gonna say it again. Your best bet is to find something that's around five dollars a bottle, and that's why box wine, such as Shania, is is the best because you save amount of money, uh, save a lot of money, save amount of money. holy crap. Um, yeah, I, I'm getting tired, and I, I'm at the end of my night, but I don't get angry, I don't get mad, I get silly, more silly than than anything else. But I, I hope. Um, I hope my, my wine reviews here are, are helping somebody because if I could help one person not get worried about the, the, the marketing behind a wine and just figure out what the, the money 
the, the experience and the after effect, the after effects. Like how you feel the next day is a big deal. It really is a big deal. And that's why I think those $3.99, I'm tempted, so tempted to buy a $3.99 bottle of wine at one of the liquor stores here and do two bottles of that. And I looked at the label and there's no, I mean, the fact that there's no uh, write-up about it, I mean, as much as I bash the write-ups, oh, it's a, it's a ripe plum, blah, 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 blah. The fact that there's no write-up <laughs> almost makes me also <laughs> nervous about it. Um, I think it's kind of funny. It's like, like, we have nothing to say about this piece of shit. All right, I have nothing to say about it. It's just, it's just toxic juice that you're gonna drink and it's gonna make you, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buy two bottles of the cheapest effing wine, not Crane Lake, I hate Crane Lake. But this other one I might even hate even more. Maybe Crane Lake, since I've had it, it's, it, it's, it's like, like 12 steps ahead of this other cheap ass wine. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm gonna do it. It's either, because um, the $5.99 wine that I like per bottle, $7.50 bottle, that I like the best is Explorador, available at Bourbon Street. It's good, I drink two bottles and I'm fine. In fact, I had two bottles last night. I didn't do a review about this, but I had two bottles last night and I was doing something. I was playing a fucking video game, okay? I haven't played a video game in like four years and I just got hooked on it and that's what they do. That's how they do it. I drank four cans of spiked seltzer afterward and I, I was I'm pretty much okay today. I slept a few hours extra, but, but the three, that was a $5.99 wine on sale from $8.99 or whatever it was. Whatever they, the, the perceived prices are. God knows, you don't know what they, they really sold for, what the wholesale cost was. Um, but a $3.99 wine, I'm like, I'm very curious. That's $8 for a, for a 1.5. Do I want to put myself through the, the like almost, almost guaranteed pain the next day and maybe two days afterward. I don't know. So, so the cheap wines has like, like, like a lim a high limit of 10 for me in terms of financial reasons and then a low limit of five or six for physical reasons. If I go below that to like three, like I may just be like volunteering for, for pain and I don't want to, volunteer for pain ever so hey i'm back uh this is the next day after drinking two bottles of the dark horse uh double down whatever the wine i drank in the video preceding this it passed the two bottle test because i drank even a little bit more of something else and i feel fine today so i think we're all in the clear with this so i pat i don't know what bottle doesn't pass the two bottle test we have to maybe uh, find out so that's it